Hey guys, welcome back to Enlightened Turtle. It's your host, Kev here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a recent archaeological discovery of an alleged giant city in Ecuador. Now, this one's stirring up quite a bit of a stir in the archaeological circles, so let's get straight into it. It is believed that the discovery of the lost city of the giants in Ecuador is one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the 21st century. But not only is this an incredible discovery of great importance, it is one of the many findings that have been omitted by the mainstream researchers around the globe. Ancient legends in Ecuador speak of a time when giants walked the earth, a time when these beings created huge megalithic cities that have been consumed by nature thousands of years later. Here we take a look at this incredible finding by going through the most important details about this enigmatic megalithic city. Even before discovering the ancient megalithic city, many local legends spoke of a time when incredible giant beings inhabited the remote region of Ecuador. These giants created megalithic sites and this ancient city is just one of many that are supposedly located in the region. In order to find the lost city of giants, a group of explorers teamed up with the locals who were all aware and knew that this ancient city was in fact a real place. The Aboriginals led the group of explorers to the site they considered truly holy, and local tribes gathered at the city of giants to celebrate powerful spirits which, according to the legend, still inhabited the megalithic site. According to reports, when the group of researchers arrived at the lost city of giants, they discovered a set of megalithic structures. The largest of them was a 260 foot tall by 260 foot wide pyramid at an irregular angle. The massive pyramidal shaped structure is believed to have been made by huge boulders weighing no less than two tons. Located on the top of the pyramid is a flat polished stone which is believed to have been used as a ceremonial sacrificial stand. It looks like a paved wall, an ancient street or plaza with 60 degree angles, perhaps the roof of the large structure, said French American archaeologist Benoit Duvenur. Many of the stones were perfectly aligned and have sharp edges and seem to have been sculpted by human hands. According to a group of researchers who discovered the enigmatic giant pyramid, the structure's body was apparently covered by lichen even though the remaining visible boulders reveal a thick layer of impenetrable material that held the stones together. Many believe that this mysterious material is evidence of the first concrete-like material used in Mesoamerica. However, the structures found at the City of Giants weren't the most impressive discoveries. According to archaeologists, the most important discoveries made at the site were the oversized and odd manufactured tools, which remained at the site for an incalculable time. Blending in with nature, the size of the tools would make it impossible for humans to use them. According to Bruce Fenton, writer, researcher and member of the team that found the presumed City of the Giants, this is the ultimate evidence that proves giants inhabited Earth in the distant past and built incredible cities and structures. What really points strongly towards this habitation having housed the same race of giants is the presence of extremely oversized hammers, or at least the stone hammerheads, he said. Assuming they were attached to the hardwood handles, they would have been both incredible in size and weight, making their use as tools impractical for a typical Inca or indigenous Indian. These beings were generally, generally around 5 feet or so, Mainstream scholars believe the city is non-existent. Interestingly, despite the numerous discoveries in 2013, when the Ecuadorian Ministry of Culture sent their representatives to investigate the lost city of giants, they concluded that the pyramid-shaped building was nothing more than a natural formation. However, Fenton and his team believe the intricate boulders, the complex pattern 
and their fine assembly are clear indications that the enigmatic lost city of giants is not a natural formation but one of the best pieces of evidence that support the theory that in the distant past giants walked the earth now as you can see guys this is the second video i've done recently regarding giants in south america and if anyone has been following my work regarding british history obviously uh, great britain was allegedly named albion as the oldest name that we've been able to trace to britain which was the name of a giant king that apparently resided in great britain this story and all this mythology surrounding giants that the mainstream choose to ignore is actually there's a lot more than just mythology and hocus pocus there's actually a lot of physical indications that giants once walked the earth so let me know what you guys think do you think giants once existed thanks for stopping by guys peace I'm about to